Hey everyone, back again. Uh, this is installment or part number two of uh, painting uh, Peninsula British Line Infantry. The first part was just black colors and uh, very minimal shading, if any. And this part is going to be um, all the well, the wash, and then the black wash, and then the colors on top of that. So. Again, this is uh, this is black painting, nothing fancy. I'm not really blending. Um, uh, I'm not blending or watering down anything too much to make uh, any crazy effects visible. Um, just getting figures on the table at a reasonable pace and at a good quality. I, I like these. Um, so, yeah, I guess without further ado, we can jump right into the second part. Um, again, this is my first time doing this sort of video, so the narrative and the voiceover, um, it's kind of interesting for me, but, uh, yeah, hopefully someone... Okay, so we're going to start uh, off with, uh, shading the entire Thank figure you. with Nuln Oil, good black wash by Citadel. Make sure it doesn't pool, but, uh, get good coating on everything. From there, we're going to head into re-highlighting the red areas. So we're going to use this pretty sparingly because it's very dark yet. So we're going to do the trousers and part of the plume, or sorry, uh, the jacket and part of the plume. And we're going to sage higher red to flat red. We're going to go over those same areas, but make sure to keep some of the darker red there for uh, some shadow. Then we're going to go to his trousers, just with the same color. We're going to just re-highlight anything that would uh, receive the most light. And the back side. We're also going to get all the um, metal parts of the rifle. Then we're going to go a step higher with the red and go to scarlet. Use this pretty sparingly. Um, it's my understanding that officers would have more scarlet uniforms, so I use it sparingly on the line infantry. Then we're going to go to a lighter gray. This is neutral gray. We're going to use that on the trousers as well as uh, the metal parts on the musket. Oh, and the blanket roll. Totally forgot about that. So we're also going to be doing the blanket roll with all this gray. Then on, we're going to do another stage of lighter to stonewall gray. Um, this is more of a sparingly highlight. You don't want to go crazy with this. It'll start to look kind of wonky, but uh, we are going to touch some of the rifle parts as well, because I am doing that non-metallic uh, metal, or at least trying to. Still kind of new to it. Uh, from there, we're going to work on the rifle uh, wood, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get that covered. Don't do anything crazy with this, um, just trying to keep some of that darker brown in the recesses for uh, some shadows. We're also going to touch the hair up with it. From there, we're going to take some magic blue, and we're going to go ahead and work on the cuffs as well as the collars. Um, trying to be real neat with this, but uh, it sure doesn't take much. We're going to move into Iraqi sand where we're going to get the uh, haversack and the strap with it, as well as the uh, rifle uh, sling or musket sling. Then we're going to begin work on the uh, the gold areas. So like I said, non-metallic paint. So we're just trying to build it up in lighter colors. We're not covering it all. Um, there's a few sling areas on the musket that need to be covered. And finally we're going to go into some white. So um, this is ivory, not straight white because I find that too bright. So we're going to get all the webbing and the cross straps, the top of the plume, uh, the collars, the cuffs, um, back of the backpack. So that takes a little bit. Be neat with that. Then we're going to do some uh, deep sky blue, I believe it's called. And we're going to go ahead and just do a little details on the uh, water bottle. Um, keeping a lot of that dark blue in there yet though. Next is going to be skin. So we're going to re-highlight what we had before. Uh, with skin I'm definitely trying to leave a lot of the, the dark areas um, you know, not covered. We want the shadows, we want uh, the fingers and stuff to stick out. So my personal next highlight 
um, is this flat skin color. So we're being real neat with this, leaving the eyes there. We're going to um, just get the knuckles, get the fingers. Um, really just quite a, try to be careful with it. Um, next I like to do a, like a brown wash, a sepia shade, um, over all the flesh. I find that kind of ties everything in. Um, and once that's dry, we're going to go back with the uh, previous skin color shade, and we're just going to really do the same, the uh, same exact parts. Next is our final skin highlight, um, basic skin tone, I believe it's called, skin base. Um, so this is quite a bright uh, highlight. So we're really only doing the, like the knuckles, the fingertips, um, the nose, maybe some of the cheekbones and the ears. But we're being pretty sparingly with it. So uh, let's see what's next. So now we're going to go into black. So I have a pretty simple process with black, um, getting the backpack, the shako, the shoes. Um, just coat it up. Uh, model color is kind of a glossy black, I've noticed. Um, but it, it does the job. It, it's not too bright. So we're going to go in with some gray. This is kind of a darker gray, um, more of a, a black kind of gray. And uh, with that, we're going to be touching up um, all the sides of the, the uh, cartridge box and, and the uh, backpack, as well as the shackle. We're just trying to add some layers, some depth to it some creases in the black, because black's kind of a hard color to paint. Um, of course, you can take this in uh, different levels of uh, attentiveness and, uh, you know, effort. Again, this is a, kind of a black painting for me, so it goes by pretty quick. It's just getting the, the black colors on and then uh, shading it and uh, touching up some highlights. Of course, I added eyes. I didn't go over that. That's always nerve-wracking, and I'm... Yeah, well, that's another video. But uh, yeah, so hopefully this is helpful, and uh, I'll touch back with you guys in a few minutes. So here's the finished guy. Just one more photo of him next to uh, American Quarter for size. So yeah. All right, so we're back. Just wanted to say a quick, a few quick things after finishing this guy up. Um, happy with how it turned out. Um, I think it'd, it'd be enjoyable and very helpful to actually create a video of painting, but like I said, I just don't have the camera here for that. So this is the next best thing, and maybe I'll even refine it in the future and, uh, you know, better lighting setup and narrative, etc. But I'm learning, and it's fun, and I'm getting good feedback, so all is good. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm unsure about the varnish process um, as far as what I'm going to do with this Italian right now. I just have all my stuff in a display case, so I might even just skip it, but um, that, that could be another video. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment. Uh, I mean, you can like and subscribe if you want, but I like, I like the comments. I like connecting with people, seeing where people are from, and uh, just exchanging information. And Yeah, so that's my favorite part about YouTube. And uh, so, yeah, please leave a comment if you found it helpful or if you have anything else to say. And hopefully I'll be putting out another video soon. So thanks again. Take care, people.